Hi, I'm Bill Fitzpatrick with Loop One Systems. Today I'd like to talk about a challenge that every system administrator faces every day. And that is how to manage planned server changes while protecting systems from unplanned outages. And when a system does go down, how to know what happened, why it happened, and perhaps even who caused an outage. Ensuring system uptime starts with good change management policies and procedures. Those are paramount. Having good procedures makes our tools even better. Now we know that server outages can occur for many reasons, and we know that human error is one that happens more than we'd like to admit. But sometimes human error is just someone doing exactly what they meant to do, applying a security patch that causes a bug check, or installing a product update and finding an incompatible version that was supposed to be supported. Even safe changes don't always work as intended. In a perfect world, we would all have a test lab, and every change would work the same in production as it did in the lab. But we know from experience, it's just not the case. At Loop One, we've developed best practices based on LIME, the Loop One Monitoring Maturity Model. LIME allows us to combine best practices with best in class tools to help ensure things like server uptime, performance, and security. And speaking of security, server hardening is another area that can be difficult to document for audit and compliance. How do you ensure that hardening policies have been applied correctly, consistently, and then stayed that way? Well, there's a new addition to the SolarWinds Orion platform that can help. Server Configuration Monitor. It's a new tool that automates the process of creating server baselines and helps to identify when changes occur. Because SCM is built on the Orion platform, servers already being monitored using WMI can be monitored in SCM easily. SCM uses profiles to define what should be monitored on a given server. It's a bit like a monitoring template. The built-in profiles cover all the basics, so you can easily monitor the most common server statistics and characteristics. Our hardware inventory is going to allow us to see changes to things like CPU, memory, or storage volumes. We also have a built-in profile for software inventory, so we can see changes to firmware, device drivers, installed software or uninstalled software. And then we also find a built-in profile for IIS websites, all of the various configuration files that IIS uses so that any change can be detected, reported, and alerted on. And of course, you can also build your own profiles. Using a custom profile will allow us to leverage the Orion SCM agent, and we can then look for content within files. So if you have applications with your own configuration settings in a file, we can monitor registry keys and values. So this is very common for our hardening audit and compliance. And then, of course, we also have the ability to build PowerShell scripts that when they execute, the output is captured, and we can track changes in that output over time as well. Once we've defined our profiles and assigned them to our nodes, we have the ability to also set a baseline. Once the baseline is set, we can report on changes against the baseline specifically. As we take a look at this server here, you'll notice it's got five different profiles assigned to it. And it's been already flagged as the baseline. So there you go. Using SN SCM can help you document and manage your server configuration so that the next time you have a system outage, you can more easily know who broke the server. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.